Okay, ladies and jellyfish, moles both sizes, welcome to the Insane in the Membrane Review. Brought to you by Scare. Remember when Baxter Stockman was a whole man, a beautiful mind, a genome known throughout the world for his genius. He wasn't evil, he just wanted to make life easier for himself and his companions. He was worshipped, but then it all went wrong at the hands of the Shredder and the Turtles. They whittled him away until he was reduced to nearly nothing. Man, isn't that creepy? Anyway, this episode of TMNT 2003 starts off with the Ninja Turtles fighting aliens that are in the sewers. Then we get cut to the Area 51.1, where Bishop lives. And there we get to see Stockman wanting to do finally a body transfer with his body. And of course Bishop, although he made his body of his own, says it's a bad idea. And of course Stockman denies that. He, uh, he puts his brain and he dreams while his brain gets concocted into a new body. So yeah. Uh, in this dream process, it's kind of like a running gag in the episode, but it's not really a gag. We get to see Stockman as a kid doing some experiments, and then his mom comes home. Uh, she has a child's chemistry kit for him, and of course, he's very happy because he's Stockman, and it's better than playing with pots and pans. Yeah, that's the running gag. It comes out a lot, and it's very deep. Anyway, the cliche about not spending time with him is worked correctly because he doesn't go too far with it. Anyway, when Baxter Stockman wakes up in his new body, he feels strong. He goes outside and uh, loves how he has goosebumps and how he can smell and hear and stuff again. And then this happens. And when he looks in the mirror, this happens. Now, him getting his new body was really nice with the goosebumps and stuff, but yeah, all this happened. Then he dreams of his mom again, and he wakes up into a creepy another form with his finger falling off. Then we get this little Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday thing, which really doesn't have anything to do with anything other than the fact that we're skipping a few days. Uh, then we get some, you know, shots of him using getting rid of his own body and this is what we're left with oh don't worry the dark knight hasn't come out yet so yeah the, i guess the dark knight got inspiration from this so yeah he thinks how his life went wrong with the shredder at the hands of the turtles no it was april because april brought, brought in those turtles and brought the shredder to his wrath yes it is her and then he goes to her house uh, Casey is too weak, and she tranks April and walks away and says it started. We're going back to where it all started. Then in the lair, Donnie shows the new the turtles the new tor the, the new battle shell as they might call it, and how it's awesome and they make fun of it. Anyway, uh, Casey calls them and they go. Casey tells them what happened, and they go to Baxter's lab. Then Baxter dreams of his mom again. Um, he remembers the time when he was a kid and his mom was sick and how she passed away. Now, this is very deep and all, and this is a whole other rant, but it's very deep and they actually do it very well. But then the jo this joke, in quotation marks, ruins it. And then Baxter goes nuts and talks to April as if she were his old like co-worker then he sees the turtles he comes out of his hallucination and he becomes super baxter he uh fights them and the turtles go into his helicopter and april goes into a gondola okay how stupid are you april if baxter has a new body and he's so strong he you know he's gonna come and either kill you or he's gonna die himself and then the turtles come so yeah, the turtles come, and they, I guess I should say they kicked his butt, but since he's strong, they don't really do anything. Uh, Baxter goes up to April, and April says things that he thinks his mom is saying to him, 
and he saves his mom, hands April to Casey, and he falls. Yeah, guys, Baxter Stockman is dead. Now, Baxter didn't really do anything bad in this episode. He, his calculations were correct. The only bad thing he did was not listen to, uh, to Bishop, and that is reasonable because he wanted a new body. He tracked April because April was the one who ruined his life, and it's actually true, unless you think that he's evil, which he was, but April isn't completely innocent. And now we get to see Baxter die. So, yeah, this is very deep and kind of bad to see. I really felt bad, and I actually hated April in the scene, but you know why? I just figured this out. April went on the gondola, or at least the writers made her go onto the gondola, so that Baxter dies. Yeah, Baxter dies in season four, everyone. Pack up, move on to things. Thanks for writing. See you guys. Yeah, and then it ends with a, an unfunny joke. Uh, yeah, he dies. But don't worry, guys. He comes back in season six. Uh... Yeah, so we still live until the future. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is brought to you by Askear. We're gonna find the funny videos for a short time. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos. And this is Askear signing out. Peace.